Good morning, everyone, wherever in the world that we are in. Today, we're looking at the omnipotent Father of mercy and grace at PHH Claves. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4, 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Hallelujah. Your grace and mercy has brought us through. We live in this moment only because of you. We want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy God us through. The things that I love and hold dear to my heart, they are borrowed and not my at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my life. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Go back the curtain of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Lord, remember, I am human, and human forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the fact that we woke up this morning unto life, unto good health, food on our table, Clothes on our back and shelter over us is just at the mercy of God the Father. Sometimes we forget. But when we realize that our lives, our hopes, our livelihood are in the hands of God, we may have to think differently, act differently, and maybe serve Him differently. When we realize the fact that the omnipotent father of mercy and grace has the final say about whether we are awake to life, wake up, get up, and able to move about without the help of another, we may perceive his sovereignty differently. Some of us have taken the opportunity to accept his sovereignty, surrendered our lives to his leading, to his bathing, to his leading. But many are yet to, and I'm wondering, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? So today, today is another opportunity to take a view of the creator of the heaven and the earth, of the universe, the governor, general of the whole world, world. the one that appoints and ordains king of kings. The one when he opens and no one can shut. And when he shuts and no one there opens. The one that has power and no one can overturn. And he's a God that spoke in Hebrews 4, 16. And he's saying, come boldly to the throne of mercy that you may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. He is the one that is able to have compassion over you, regardless of where you've been, how you've been. And without anyone's recommendations or approval. Hallelujah. Today is asking and saying that though you're free of your will, you will have to make that choice. To choose to come to the throne by yourselves, to obtain mercy, to obtain grace in the time of need. 
Now, salvation is a need, a must. A must to make eternity. But you may be wondering, how and what is salvation? What is she talking about? It's a need. And to have that need, you need to come boldly to the throne of mercy and grace so that you can receive it from the Father. Salvation is deliverance and redemption. The only way to saving us from the grip of sin and its consequences. And sometimes include separation from God and death. But through Christ's death and his resurrection, we have been set free. We have been made possible. to make eternity away from the grip of sins and shame and death. And the only way God was able to do that for us was to make a permanent sacrifice to keep us out of sins and eternity bound. He was to give up his only son, Jesus, the Christ. And that confirms, confirms it in John 3, 16, when he says, For God so loved the world, you and I, that he gave up his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Will you like to opt out for salvation this morning? We like to say bye, permanent bye-bye to sins and its consequences. Hallelujah. I am thy O Lord. I have had thy word. I have had a voice. And it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the hands of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me never, never blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me never, never blessed Lord, to the precious bleeding side. If you are the one that would like to opt out for salvation this morning, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I have had thy word and it ministered unto me. I have had how you want to separate me from sin and its consequences. How you want me to have a permanent life in you, a chance at eternity. I come boldly to the throne of mercy this morning and I want to obtain the need of salvation. Father, forgive me in any way that I have not acknowledged you or known you. Forgive me for the neatness in surrendering my life to you. I am here of my free will, a choice, Father, to surrender my life and help me to lead and direct the rest of my days in the name of Jesus. If there's any way I have sinned against your will, against your precepts, against your commandment, Father, forgive me, bless me, and make me whole. Make me acceptable unto you. I may have a chance at eternity. In the name of Jesus, from today, Father, lead me, direct me, instruct me, and show me the way to go. Above all, please write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to the household of faith. If you've said this prayer with me, please find the Bible-believing church so that you can fellowship and start to read about this Christ Jesus who sacrificed his life for you and I. You can also reach out to us at PHA through our email address, I help to inspire at gmail.com or via our 
um, many social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. And on our website, you can leave your information and we will get back to you. www.phhworld.com www.phhworld.com Amen. Let us know about your decision and how we can walk this journey with you. Also, please help us to share our podcast to reach the end of the world for Christ so that other souls, other lives can do what you just did this morning. Let every nation be touched. Let every heart be changed. And let none be left behind. We love you here at PHH. But remember, Christ loves you very much and is waiting for you to come home. Amen. Have a fulfilling weekend in Jesus' mighty name.